Hello and welcome to New Filmmakers Los Angeles in partnership with Movie Maker Magazine. My name is Danny DeLillo and we're at the South Park Center. I'm here with Finn with his movie viewing. Let's get a little clip. Thank you, Finn, for coming all the way from the Netherlands to be here. Thank you for having me. Really, really great. Thank you for sharing your film with us. Um, it was very powerful. I've never seen a film quite like it. Um, so tell us, Bruce, not for those who haven't seen it. Um, so it's a short film, 14 minutes. Mm -hmm. and it's about the week between uh, suicide and funeral of a former fashion model. Mm -hmm. um, and it's told from the, uh, from the physical, physical vantage point of the of the woman's corpse, so yeah. we never see, uh, but we see how others look at her or don't look at her. Yeah, yeah. it was very, very well done. Um, where did this inspiration come from? Um, I was actually working on another screenplay that mm -hmm. I worked on for a long time and that to this day hasn't been made yet, but uh -huh. um, that was about um, a pregnancy from the perspective of the uh, soul of the unborn child oh wow um which is really interesting too but which is kind of the the same idea of turned on, you his, on his head yeah. so when i was thinking about that and i realized um i was being attracted to stories that were about bodies and souls mm -hmm. um and about the mystery of that what that is and and that made me actually think of uh, a good friend of mine who took his own life mm -hmm. um when he was in his 20s and and who uh, I went to see after this happened at his at his home, um, and where I was confronted with uh, his lifeless body, and it was such a um, painful and sad thing, but also just so alienating in a way. Because I, as soon as I saw him, I realized it's not him. He's not. He's not yeah. here. You know. So that yeah. that sort of um, baffling experience is something that really stuck with me and that I remembered, and I, I felt like maybe I could express a little of that mystery by by placing the camera there because I, I thought you can't really film that you, I don't know yeah. how you can express that so in the film there there's a scene where the there's a little boy the the um, uh, the son who is the, such a good he's amazing. actor oh yeah. my goodness yeah. yeah so good yeah so so glad to have found him but he he actually doesn't recognize his mother so he says my mom has a, ju a dress just like that and I yeah. thought that was sort of the only way that I can think of a believable way that a character within the film would would express something of what I felt when I saw my friend. And I love the set. This was I love this the setting of this 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 venue that you had this place and it was very it was very striking and very powerful mm -hmm. and kind of you know and also obviously you had to have I, I guess play with the camera and the cinematographer a lot to kind of really capture the sort of you know viewpoint of, of the corpse. How was that kind of process for you? Yeah, it's one of the things that we we obviously talked a lot about and and. Um, I still sometimes don't know if, it, if it's, um, we sort of had to make a choice, are we gonna uh, take it really literally and, uh, or do we, do we give ourselves a bit more freedom mm -hmm. and, uh, for example, use a, use a very wide lens yeah. and um, uh, level the camera, I guess, yeah. if, if you can uh -huh. say so. So we put a lot of limits on ourselves in, in telling this story. Uh, and I think a lot of the, um, that, that adds a lot of the uh, sort of poetry or, or yeah. whatever the sp specific beauty that the film has, but it also uh, made it very difficult to sort of uh, tell the film in a more logical way. Yeah. Um, so that was very challenging, and, and the framing is, is, is part of that, absolutely. Yeah. I think it really, it re you know, really, really worked, though. Um, now, of course, I mean, it, it almost felt like the, the kind of, <laughs> the courts was but it almost felt like a character in itself you know it almost with almost like my viewpoint of of this whole thing but how was the casting process for you i i looked for the um the widower first yeah um and i had uh some actresses in mind too but 
uh, it was a, important for me that it was someone who was uh, somewhat well known, at least in, in the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. I felt like that would add something to the to the role, make it believable. That would be someone uh, who was maybe like a semi-public figure. Yeah. But she she plays a double role. She plays both through the uh, the portraits that that are uh, uh, hung in the set. She plays herself, and then she plays her sister, who uh, who comes in. So. We, you know, we, we, had a, we had a small budget, so basically what we did was uh, make a list of uh, actors and actresses that we wanted to work with, mm -hmm. and then we, we uh, uh, you know, we contacted them. So I didn't, I didn't oh, have, cool. like, uh, a casting for the main Yeah, you had some people parts. in mind that you wanted to see. Yeah, to and for the, for, the, for the child, for the boy, we did have a, a casting, actually. How old was he? Um... I think he was four. I was like, yeah. he's so he's good. He's amazing, yeah. Yeah, I was yeah. like, my goodness me. And also to p portray something um, of a storyline like that as well, I was like, it was just, it was just really powerful and came across really well. Yeah. So yeah. Um, what, what is it like to, you know, have this idea of a story and then it drags you halfway across the world and then to be celebrated, like, uh, the home of the Oscars, and yep. even more deeper than that, with us at New Filmmakers celebrating a program highlighting great Dutch talent. How how was how was that feeling like for you? Oh, it's it's indescribable. And, and I like yesterday during the the whole day, people kept coming up to me and asking me, so how, and how do you feel now? And how do you feel now? And yeah. I, I, at a certain point, I was like, hey, this kind of feels like my wedding. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Where well, we're going. That's yeah. well, okay. We'll take that. <laughs> okay. Well, well hopefully. Uh, your, your wedding was that's I mean that's fantastic wow we so could get but, a big comment on that but there's just so so much coming at you so I just had to think of like maybe ask me in a week how, yeah. how it was because you know it's you know obviously uh, amazing with a short film to be able to travel this far yeah and um, and just uh, the festival has done such a good job to 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 set us up and bring mm. us into contact with so many interesting people and the venue yesterday was also amazing to see the film in in this. Uh, in this cinema, it's this insane, isn't it, it looked so it looked so good. I mean, I had a, a cast and crew screening earlier, mm -hmm. and uh, this this was just uh, just great. Yeah. Oh, we're very grateful that you that you made the journey with us. Um, what is next for you? We've got lots of ideas for for uh, shorts and and longer form form uh, things, but um, I'm writing right mm -hmm. now and. Uh, I'll, uh, I'm working on a feature film. Mm -hmm. um, so when I, I, I talked a bit about this last night at the screening, and I sort of uh, afterwards wasn't sure if I should have done that, if I should have sh sort of shared my idea with the whole world. So I'm a bit hesitant we'll, we'll, now. We'll keep it dumb, <laughs> yeah. you know. But yeah. uh, but but no. But what well, we want to see much more of your work, and I think one of the things that even one of the questions that one of the members mentioned even last night was just almost that you kind of left us thinking about your film and I love that you, you did that, like you left us talking about it and maybe, you know, having different viewpoints and understandings of it and I think do you kind of like for your audience to kind of obviously ask questions of your films as well? Certainly, I mean, I, I think I'll always have a, a certain, uh, like more of a poetic yeah. um, mood to my films, but I think this one uh, even more so because of mm. the, uh, the form that we chose and the the limits that we set ourselves, yeah, um, which you can do, and, and I think in a way maybe should do in the short form because you you know you you can do those things because you don't have to the audience doesn't have to invest as much exactly so, so you have more uh, more freedom in that way yeah and um, I sometimes think it's it's a pity that like the the great filmmakers don't make more short films because there's it's such another form of expression. Oh, and, uh, 100%. It's, it's mostly used as a sort of jumping board to, do, to doing other yeah. stuff. But, um, 100%. Uh, no, know. I think that, that's, that's a very important statement. I, I'm, I'm, so, I'm so glad. I'm looking forward to, your, to, to, to watching your feature when it comes as well. So thank you for coming all the way and being here with us. Uh, we can't do it without you, so we really appreciate it, Finn. So thank well, you very thanks much. thanks for having me. Thank you. Thank you, everybody.